Well, thanks for joining us this morning. Megan Heidelberg on a little road trip in Asheville at the arena for the World Cup is what we're calling it of women's tennis. It is huge. It's the Billie Jean King Cup. She needs no explanation. She's just a phenomenal figure in sports. But we are joined by Ron. He is an Ingalls representative and just your tennis guru. He loves it so much. And then De the president of the Asheville Buncombe Regional Sports Commission. We well. got it. We're doing yeah. well, guys. Let's talk about this event, what it means to the area, and why you want so bad for people. If you're watching right now, even if you're not a huge tennis fan, maybe if it hasn't been something you've come to before, why you need to come? Well, I think first of all is the emotional appeal. You know, we as a country, as a city, have the opportunity that no other city has and to host the Ukrainian national team. And we never expected when we got the draw, we had no inkling of the significance of this event, but we have the opportunity to continue to be the city that is so welcoming and opening. And, and the, these girls on both sides need our support. Yes. And we want the place rocking tomorrow. We want people hanging from the rafters. So there are tickets available and we just want people to come out because it is so important as as the stories come out during the week to to be here for the Ukrainian players just as much as the US players because you know there's a lot of stuff going on at home. A lot of stuff and I don't think people understand like you can't see this in any other city right now. I mean this is huge. This is happening in Asheville. It's it so the United States um, when they knew that they were going to host, we were able to put in a bid. This is the third one that we've hosted. So it used to be called the Fed Cup. Right. People get confused, but this is still until like 2020. Yeah. It was the Fed Cup. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it got renamed for the last tie. So um, it's very important that we continue to have a great crowd here because Asheville's known for successfully hosting this event and we want this one. We always want to build on it. We want this one to be the best. Of course, especially this year. I mean, you, you get to, you know, hear some of the stories from some of the Ukrainian players, you know, people that had to leave their families at home right when all the unrest started happening. You know, father saying, go, go play Put, putting tennis. Putting them on the boat. Putting them on the boat and, and, you know, saying, go play tennis. And, you know, you have one of the players was explaining the other day that, you know, you don't, Tennis doesn't take them out of the moment. It doesn't take them out of the situation. It does give them some relief from it. But most of these young ladies, all of the money that they are earning as tennis players are going to support either family that is relocated to another country or family that's still in the Ukraine itself. And I just can't imagine, you, you, you made it so personal. One of the players said that she was just feeling so guilty because here she was in this beautiful city of Asheville enjoying a cup of tea and then thinking, oh my gosh, look what my parents are going to, my family are going through. So it just, you know what I mean? The stories like that, that gives you right. goosebumps. Like, how can we help? And you can help simply by coming and buying a ticket. Well, and, and that's of course, uh, because 10% of all ticket sales uh, are going to ten Tennis Place for Peace. Mm -hmm. uh, and also Ingalls has been great enough to donate a dollar a ticket. $2 per ticket is being donated from Harris Cherokee casinos uh -huh. and then New Belgium has done uh, a five thousand dollar donation and Billie Jean King herself has stepped up the game and given fifty thousand dollars herself and she will be here tomorrow to uh, one meet with the players but to be part of an incredible opening ceremonies and that's one of the things you know at one o'clock tomorrow when those opening ceremonies start we want every seat Ooh, it's filled. gonna be emotional it's gonna be so mm. emotional and I know it's spring break I know it's Easter week but, you know, I think that that maybe even gives us more significance. Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking about that the other day, the, the whole Holy Week and, uh -huh. and how this week comes together and what this week means. Mm -hmm. And then to be able to host this on this week, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty emotional. It's pretty cool. Ron, you were, we were just talking about a lot of kids are on spring break. You were worn out from yesterday hosting a bunch of them. Y'all did a cool event because it's not just two days of tennis. There's been all these events kind of leading up to this. Yesterday, a bunch of kids that maybe had never played tennis before, maybe never held a racket. Hundreds of them got to come out. That's right. Um, and, and that's part of Engel's commitment to this is that we try to take care of our communities. And we did have an opportunity yesterday for a lot of kids to come from spring camps and community centers who may not have played tennis before to go to Rabbit Rabbit down here 
and play some games, hold a racket in their hands, see how to do some things related to tennis, and then get some pizza and have a great time. So it's very much part of Ingles' commitment to our community around here. I mean, we joke, we're like, is there something Ingles is not involved in, especially when it comes to sports? You can see them, and they've They're got, great partner. right? I mean, it's just, it, it makes you, you know, that's why you do business with people, because they care, and they're giving back, and to, you know, give a dollar a ticket. I mean, that adds up. That's a lot of money, so we're doing good things here. We're trying to, and, and we're also providing some of the food for, uh, for players and for the volunteers, in addition to having this nice area when you come in tomorrow morning. Uh, you can get a cowbell to make a lot of noise during the thing. You can get some of these nice glasses to wear. I'm pumped. Don't worry, animals. I have a pair. I have so, a pair. Uh, it really is a great time. If you haven't seen a tennis match live, it's nothing like it is on TV. Just being able to, you actually hear the ball come off the strings yes. and you see the spin and you see how hard the players are working. Television doesn't do it justice. We'd really like you to come down here and see these world-class athletes play. I mean, we were watching just a really small practice. I mean, they were just kind of doing some light serves. Okay, and it was like, whoa, this is, I can't even imagine that stuff. So again, this will be, everything will be open to the public. Everything's open to the public. Um, and then of course, you know, tickets are available. Walk-up tickets are available. Um, you know, talking about the incredible venue. I mean, when you, you, you can't imagine, when we first talked about this in 2016 or 17, putting a tennis court in the middle Inside. of this. Oh, it, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, to, you know, to see how this thing goes down and, and what it takes to do this and how great this venue looks in there. It's, you know, and we're going to be on national television on the tennis channel. Yeah. So if you can't get here, you can watch it on TV on the tennis channel, including the opening ceremonies. So, uh, but I just want to challenge our friends in the upstate, everybody in Asheville, come out. There is not a reason why every seat is not filled up. And again, I want I want people swinging from the rafters. Mm -hmm. And and I, as I always say with the Southern Conference tournament, you know, we want this this old barn to rock. And and that's what I want. I want it to rattle and rock and. And um, there's going to be tears, mm -hmm. and there's going to be cheers. I love that. Cheers and tears, and you sure did give us some drama for the Southeastern Conference. So that was hey, yeah, we're doing we're on a roll we're here. On. Yeah, we are. We had a great great tournament, and it continues to. This is another part of our sports portfolio, but we're, you know, SoCon is a, a great part of what we do also. Kind of kind of a big deal. Y'all, it's super easy to get to. The town is very accessible. It's not going to be a hard time. Go online, get your tickets. Let's come fill it up. All right.